And part C, on what intervals is the graph of G concave down? Justify your answer. So how do we know it's going to be concave down? Second derivative is less than zero. Right? In order to be concave down, the second derivative has to be less than zero. So we established earlier, remember that derivative of G is the same as F. And the second derivative of g is the same as the derivative of f. So if the second derivative of g is less than 0, that means the derivative of f is less than 0. So that means the slope of this graph has to be less than 0. It has to be negative. Where is the slope of this graph negative? From 6 to 15, right? This area right here, slope is negative that whole time. So for part C, G is concave down from 6 to 15 because the second derivative of G is less than 0. And again, we kind of explain the second derivative of G is the same as the derivative of F. Those are both less than 0.